Now, online retailers made a fortune during the COVID-19 pandemic, but the market has failed to deliver successive quarters of high growth since then. Now, the online retailer Amazon has reported its second quarterly loss in a row as sales for the three months ending in June increased by just about 7% to $121 billion in comparison with the $113.1 billion that had been witnessed in the second quarter of 2021. Now, the increase marks one of the slowest growth periods for Amazon in its history. However, the company's share price gained nearly about 10% after hours trading in the U.S. markets. Yesterday, even after the losses were registered, they were better than expected. In comparable terms, one of the biggest tech firms in the world, Amazon, has reported a second quarterly loss of $2 billion, compared with $7.8 billion profit for the same period in 2021. However, the situation is not the same for other tech giant Apple that forecasts faster sales growth and also strong iPhone demand despite the glum economic outlook. Now, Apple said that it paid that its part shortages are narrowing and demand for iPhones is not declining despite the consumers having cut their spending on other things that they purchase. Now, based on these factors, Apple has now forecast more rapid growth in, in sales in the future. Now, Apple's iPhone sales in the third fiscal quarter rose by nearly about 3% to $40.7 billion, as in contrast to the total global smartphone market that fell to 9% in the quarter that just ended. Now, Apple's rival Samsung is also seeing its market for tablets and phones slowing down in the forthcoming quarters. Now, experts say that Apple's loyal and relatively affluent customer base has enabled it to weather the drop in consumer spending better than other brands did in the past. However, citing economic uncertainty, Apple has added that it was not making any specific revenue projections. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.